current subtopic of game development is blink trails. These speed trails, these white bits of energy that happen when you blink around. And also when you use the teleports. Let's go find one of these teleports. Here's one up here. <laughs> it's way hard to get up that. I gotta fix this. There's gotta be some easier way to climb up this tiny little staircase. I got some ideas to make this look a lot more beautiful too, but there we go. This also happens when you teleport. So we've got these like speed trails. Let's put it in slow motion so you can see a little bit closer what's happening. The player's running, the player's semi-transparent, and he's got all these little actual 2D lines. Let's, whoa, I've never rotated the camera while doing a teleport before. Huh, let's try that again. What just happened there? Oh, it's like the camera gets ahead of the player when you rotate. That's weird, but we'll fix that. Okay, so here we go again in slow motion with it straight on. See, we at the end he turns around, so he lands at the place he's going to be at. Um, and that kind of helps the you to orient a little bit better when you're watching the animation. It can get a little bit confusing if you're like, dang, where the heck is he? Where's he going? Um, so that helps the camera land really smoothly at that point, too. Let's check this out. See how the camera is just really nice and smooth at the end? Before, it was a bit jarring because um, the camera... Well, what are these guys doing? <laughs> trying to attack each other through the wall. That was funny. Lots of things to be done to make the AI smarter, of course. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so the camera's a lot smoother now because when it's, it used to, the camera used to end up like way over here, whereas the player was like here and facing this way. So, anyways, just getting the rotation correct and the final camera positions correct and having it just smoothly animate. The last thing I want to do to this, I haven't done this yet, is to make the code a little bit smarter so that these trails, when you're going up and down stairs while doing the trails, um, to make those have a little bit steeper of an angle so that it looks nice, so the trails look like you're going downhill. See so yeah, here, we're on flat ground, you get these perfect trails that look really nice, and you get these 45s that look nice too, because I actually figured out some uh, some math to basically make the, the trails look at the right angle depending on the actual tilt of the camera. I think the tilt of this is like around 20 or 30 degrees. Uh, you know, and of course it's an orthogonal camera, which is sort of like an isometric camera. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's really the last thing left to be done with these speed trails. I really think this is helping a lot to the, the game's animation is looking a lot more, it's, it telegraphs where players are going because it's a very quick movement to do this blink it happens instantaneously. So it's nice to have those trails to see what the heck just happened to that player or that player. I'm kind of worried that things are getting a little bit busy. There's so many particles and effects going on everywhere now. Uh, so I may need to tweak this a little bit. Some of the animations will be less opacity, less time duration, stuff like that. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. Catch you next time.